Hello everyone. What is there night? May the peace of God, may the grace of God enfold you. May the presence of the Lord surround you. O oh Lord of mercy. Welcome to the Zion's Wall Broadcast. We are sharing the word of God. This message entitled, God Never Fail. God Never Fail. Thank you, Jesus. That's our topic I'm going to deal with today. God Never, Never Fail. This word, ladies and gentlemen, the Spirit of God placed in my mind and I share with you in Jesus' name. The purpose of this message is to let you know that the flowers fade, the grass may wither, but the word of God stand forever. And God's word prevail, even though trouble may be on our, in our life, left, right, and center. Oh, brothers and sisters all over the world, God send this message to remind somebody that God Almighty never fail. Coronavirus, gas price skyrocket, crime increasing, trouble all over, natural disaster. But God is giving a shout out to somebody to let you know God's words stand forever and God never fail. What he said shall be done he never lie god word never fail my brothers and sisters this message god put in my mind i share with you in jesus name if you have been blessed by this message feel free to share it with somebody let us pray dear god thank you for modern technology thank you for the ability that your words can go where baxter cannot go your words can go where many preachers cannot go. Your words can go where our feet cannot go. In the name of Jesus, let this word go. This man that is listening, I pray that you will touch him. This woman that is listening, I pray that you will arrest her. I pray that the word of God will do what it was meant to do. May the word of God bring conviction. May the word of God bring conversion. May the word of God let somebody know in spite of the hardship, in spite of what they are going through, in spite of what we've been through, in spite of what we're currently going through, God is still the greatest doctor in the sick room. God is still the greatest lawyer in the courtroom. Help us to remember God never lie. What he say will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Dear God, bless every man that hear this message. Every boy, every girl, every woman. Bless every soul that see and hear this message. Not because of me, Baxter. But because of the power of the Holy Ghost. May this word pierce and touch and revive and rescue and deliver. Oh, in Jesus' name I pray. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, God Almighty. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in, these, in this message, God never fail. I want to share two passages with you that the Lord brought to my mind. The first passage I want to share is taken from the book of Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3. And the next passage will be taken from the book of Leviticus. God never failed to do what he say. And God never failed to come true in a mighty way. And so in this message I will share a little sermon that I have done in the past with you my brothers and sisters. And also I want to share two passages that I think is very important to bring forth this message. And these texts will be like a foundation for the background of the word of God. So the first text will be is Daniel chapter 3, reading at verse 15. Daniel chapter 3, reading at verse 15. It said, Now if he be ready, that at what time he hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, 
and all kinds of music. He fell down and worshipped the image which I have made. Well, but if he worship not, he shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? These are the, word that, the words that Nebuchadnezzar said to the three Hebrew boys who refused to worship the image in the book of Daniel. It's a well-known story. You know that Nebuchadnezzar made an image in the plain of Dura in the providence of Babylon and want everybody at the service to worship. And they have all type of different instrument there, wanting the people of God to bow down. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to worship. And so the Bible said they brought Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to the king. And what I really like about Nebuchadnezzar, my brothers and sisters, he's better than a lot of us. Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? In verse 14 of Daniel 3, Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that he did not serve my gods, not worship, them, worship the golden image which I have set up? What I really love about Nebuchadnezzar, when he heard something, he don't just cast judgment. When he heard something, he give the other persons the opportunity to testify if it's true. Oh Lord, if many of us would have been like Nebuchadnezzar, this world would be a better place when we heard something to call the person, him or her, to ask them, is it true? But many of us get vexed and change our ways and treat people different when we never even ask, is it true? Nebuchadnezzar asked him if it's true. And then in verse 15 of Daniel 3, Nebuchadnezzar said, well, well, now you are before me. I will see for myself because people could lie in you. But Nebuchadnezzar said, now if he be ready at what time he hear the sound of different things. And the Bible said, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the king said, uh, uh, who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand if you don't worship? And the children of God in verse 16 said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answer and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Verse 17, but if it be so, a God whom we serve is able to deliver us, deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand. Brothers and sisters, sometimes we have to speak the word of God with confidence. If it's God will, we shall live, but we will not bow down. We will not worship no other God except the God of heaven, our creator. So remember our topic, God never fails to do and to come true for his people. He never fail to do what he say he would have done. And God is not mocked. You see, Nebuchadnezzar make a mistake there. He thought that God is, a, is somebody to be played with. In the message coming up, in the message coming up, stand by. In the message coming up, you're going to see what God did for Shedra, Mishrach, and Abednego. But since my topic entitled God never fail, let me show you what happened in Leviticus. I hope you don't mind. I love to use the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. I, Evangelist Baxter, love to use the Bible, the Word of God. And so, the Bible said in Leviticus chapter 10, few verses I'm going to read to show you that God is not a God to be played with. And this is mostly for pastors and preachers that are going around and preaching the word of God. God is not somebody to take for a mockery and play with. He never fail and he will do what he say. So Leviticus chapter 10, reading at verse 1. And Nadad and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offer strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And they went out from the Lord and devoured them. Sorry, verse 2 of Leviticus chapter 10, verse 2 again. And there went out fire from the Lord. Can I read it again? 
and there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them and they died before the Lord. Oh Lord have mercy. Aaron the prophet, Aaron Moses' assistant, had two sons that was working as priests. And sometimes we think we can do everything and anything because it's modern time and think God is a God to be played with. I'm here to tell somebody that God up in heaven is not a God to be played with because Aaron's sons thought they could go into the church, into the temple and offer strange fire, do their own thing. And the Bible said in Leviticus chapter 10, fire came out from the Lord and they died in the temple. Oh Lord, help me Holy Spirit, help me Holy Spirit. I'm saying to preachers and pastors and messengers, make sure you're not lying on God. Make sure you're not telling people God told you something when he didn't tell you nothing because God never fail. He gonna give reward whether it's good or bad. So I, Evangelist F. Baxa, encourage all preachers all over the world Make sure what you are preaching is according to the word of God. For God is not mock what we sow we shall reap. So number one, the first text is Daniel 3. Nebuchadnezzar asks a question. Who is that God that shall deliver you when I put you in the fire? And then Leviticus chapter 10. These young men think they can behave anyway and carry on with any type of service. Say they are worshiping God. The God of heaven is a God not to be played with. And if you get this message, it's for us to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. We better check ourselves before we wreck ourselves because God is not playing. Hallelujah. God is not playing. Jesus, have mercy. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. The word of God coming up, I entitle it, God never failed. This message is really saying, God will take us across the Red Sea. This message is really saying, God will do what he say. And no weapon that form against the people of God. If it's not your time to die, you shall live. And for those who behave uh, ungodly and don't think that, uh, and think that God is somebody to be played with, this is a message to let you know, God is not mocked for what we sow we will reap watch this message to the end ladies and gentlemen and if you are blessed please kindly share like and subscribe and may somebody else receive it after you receive it in jesus name the children of god they did not bow ben or burn they did not bow ben or burn and those who mock god die in the church those who do what they think they want to do when god didn't command them to do that was challenged God's ability and capability. Now, can I share a few things with the church? Yes. It's really just liberty. Let's show, show you that God has the power to do what He wants. Yeah. How He wants. Yeah. When He wants. For who He wants. Hallelujah. All right. So, after Nebuchadnezzar challenged Shedrach, Mishrach, and Abednego, and then challenged God and said, What can He do when I put you in the fire? You see, the problem with Nebuchadnezzar, he didn't maybe know about our God. Well, you see, he maybe forget that our God back in Exodus is a mighty great God. Uh, when Moses was getting ready to go tell bad Pharaoh to let God people go, you see, Moses, no Pharaoh was a bad man. Yeah. So Moses said, Lord, when I get here, what should I tell the man that's your name? Uh, God said, don't worry about name. Just tell the man I am that I am. I am what I want to be, oh, I want to be, whenever I want to be. I am that I am. Well. <laughs> you tell, don't worry about me. You know what God was telling Moses to tell Pharaoh? Tell us. That I can be what I want to be, when I want to be. Come on. So the first thing I look, the Lord lead me to this thing that God is what you call omnipotent. Amen. Come on back to the God. Preach the greatest. He has absolute power. He's supreme. There is none above him. All right. That's what he wants Pharaoh to know. And if you need to know more Pharaoh, well. he's not just omnipotent, but he's omnipresent. You know what that means? Mm, that means God is present here, there, and everywhere. God is in Africa. God in China, Russia at the same time. Our God is what? Everywhere. Only present. And 
it does not suffice for you, uh, Pharaoh, the last thing I want to tell you is that God is what you call omniscience. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. You can't trick him. You can't trick me. I can't trick you. But you yeah. can't fool God. Uh, Pharaoh said, that's just talk, man. You're just running the mouth. Everybody could talk. Let's see God do the walk. So, you know what bad Pharaoh do? He said, I'm not going to let the people go. Well, the devil tell us, I mean, you read this. I'm not going to let the people go. He challenged the power of the living Lord. And you know what? To make the story short, he keep messing with God until one night in Exodus, my brothers and sisters, there were a loud cry in Exodus. Why? You know why? Because God came through and every firstborn died. Mercy. Our brothers and sisters, in every house, someone died or something. Not just someone, something. Lord have mercy. First dog died. Jesus. First cold died. Don't play with God. When God tell you to let his people go, mm. watch all your trouble, the people of God. God is a God you shouldn't play with this mm. God. You see, that's why when it comes to jobs, be careful. Don't let nobody scare you talking about, uh, if you don't do this, you can't get uh, my brothers and sisters, see, Pharaoh didn't give up till every firstborn died. Die. But then after a while, when the people gone, you know what? Some of us, something bad happened, and we said, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. And when God come in our life and help us, we switch. It's like we get rich and switch. Oh, okay. So Pharaoh said, yeah, we make a mistake. Mm. You know what? Go take what the devil, no, go take what Moses have to take from us. Go get the people. See, he still didn't learn. So he was trying to go get them. And when he catch them up at the sea, no, I just wanted to show you the power of God. Jesus. Oh, when they get to the sea, the Red Sea, there was a wall on the right and one on the left yeah. of the sea before. God with them. That's why I use the word of omnipotent. I don't use those words unless it's necessary. Ah, uh, God with his omnipotent power. He just said to Moses, stretch the rod across the street. And Red God sea, with his unseen power just move in such a way that the water, the sea was parked like a curtain. Lord, one mercy. curtain wrap up on this side, the other one wrap up on the next side. And God with an unseen vacuum just fuck your receipt that, that water been running in there for years and let it dry and the children of the mm. Lord just walk over. over. Ah, Pharaoh was so bad. Some people never give up. They keep troubling you. They keep troubling you. Mercy. But if you don't stop, you might things might happen to you like happened to Pharaoh's house. Oh, mercy, Lord. Now, first of all, when Pharaoh's army get there, if I was in the army, you'd have to kill me there. <laughs> I ain't seen the water like a curtain on this side and that side going there. Not, you, know, you, you gotta finish me here. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Well. But these men were so confident, they said, let's get them in the water. Watch the supernatural power of God. Remember, he's not just omnipotent, mm -hmm. he's omniscient. He know where to find you. Yes. And not just that, he's presence everywhere. Yeah. So watch what he did. When they reach in the middle of the water, Remember, Remember, Moses was a further ahead. Yes. God, my brothers and sisters, start to take off chariot wheel up Mercy. in the back, up in the front, Mercy. up in the middle. Guess what? The chariot start to slow down, mm. and God put a cloud between them. Let me mm. tell you, be careful how you trouble the people of God. You see, the problem with Nebuchadnezzar, he may be in the red that. All right. So he said, who is this God that shall be that shall you? you? And then God who have all power, Watch when the people of the Lord pass over, he just let go the curtain and just... <laughs> when the water roll over, brother, in the Bible said, nobody escaped. God is a mighty God. That's an example that Nebuchadnezzar didn't know. And then that was Exodus. Ladies and gentlemen, in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 10, Leviticus chapter 10, Aaron have two sons who went into the church and they die by doing strange things in the church. That's Aaron, two sons. Uh, Nadab, another one named uh, Abayu, they get dressed up and went in the temple of the living Lord. Leviticus chapter 10. Fire. 
they was the ordained to go there. Some of us think we can do anything in God's house and say what God can do without it. Leviticus 10, read it when you have time. God sent out fire from his presence and consumed them right there. And died. But I guess Nebuchadnezzar didn't read that. Mercy. So you have Exodus, Leviticus, and what after Leviticus? Numbers. Numbers. Mercy. There was a prophet named Balaam. Well. <laughs> Who want to do things to please himself? Watch and it God, now. Who I told you have all power. That's why I use those words, you know, because I'm gonna come back to it. Because he had all power. Oh, when uh, Balaam didn't want to listen to the living Lord, God just used his supernatural power and let the donkey talk to the the, the prophet. Oh, my brothers and sisters, there is no man or woman, no donkey can talk. But if God want a donkey mm. to talk. He has the power to let the donkey talk. So if there is a job for you, God can get it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, God could use the animal just like he used the, the fish to take care of sister. There is no man or woman, no donkey can talk. But if God wants a donkey to talk, he has the power to let the donkey talk. So if there is a job for you, God can get it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got Leviticus. And then what we got, brethren? Numbers after numbers is what? I soon finish with the example. My brothers and sisters, I just wanted to show you that we are serving the same God. Yes. We have the real power. And that sometimes things may not be going our way. But I'll tell you, my brothers and sisters, don't give up. Don't, don't give, give up. up. If you know that anything I can tell you, young people about me, I have what you call persistency. I will stay with the Lord as long as I live. Yeah. You could talk me, you could do all you want. And I make up my mind that I will stay with the Lord until the day Amen. I die. Amen. So, Deuteronomy, now this one I want you to do with me. Can you help me, everybody? Deuteronomy chapter 20. Since I'm telling you, I want you to read with me what God going to do for you Amen. when you stand up for him. Amen. And these are examples, brothers and sisters, that Maybe Kalesa may be in the red. Amen. Deuteronomy 20. Yes, Look at sir. verse 1 together. It said, When thou goest out to what? Yeah. Against thy and see what? Horses and what? Yeah. And a great people more than thou. Be not afraid of. Yeah. For what? For the Lord is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of. And it shall be when he come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Watch this, verse 3. And say unto them, Hear, O Israel, be approached this day unto battle against your enemy. Watch this. Let not your heart what? Fear not and do not what? Tremble. Neither be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God yeah. is he that goeth with you. To fight, uh, fight for you against your enemy yes. to save you. Oh, brothers and sisters, when you stand up for the right, God is not a liar. He will stand up for you. Yes. Oh, many of you people have tried to get your fight well. because of your faith in God. Well. Many of you people have tried to block you and they can't understand. Oh, you still have the job. Oh, you still come into church. Things might be falling apart. Mm -hmm. But when God is going before you, yeah. He will make a way somehow. You see, I can't always explain how, but He will make a way somehow. So, Nebuchadnezzar, you, you seems to miss the fact who our God is. Amen. Genesis, uh, after Deuteronomy, what did I see? Joshua, <coughs> am I right? Don't turn there. Joshua 6, just write it down. Tell you about the power of this God. You see, the people back in the days of Joshua know that God is an awesome God. I heard the song sing that our God is a what? He's an awesome God. Mm. They know that uh, when the people make a shout, mm -hmm. God is not the shout, brothers and sisters. God with his awesome divine power yeah. let the wall come down. Now, you talk about nuclear power? Come on. Ask God about his dynamite power. Oh, he yeah. blew up the wall of Jericho. Brothers and sisters, a 
Our God is a awesome God. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. The problem never can as a have. He never read those God. things or believed them. These men have confidence in that. So I say you have what? Failed. Confidence. You and I have to have what church? Confidence. If you don't have confidence, sometimes your faith will waver. So since I'm telling you this, let me tell you a little story. And I'm watching the clock. Let me tell you a little story about myself. You know, in 2006, saying you're a seven day Adventist, I got the job and then the Monday is what they call training. They train you, right? So the Monday, when you train, your day's off is Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you train. Most of you know that if you're a nurse or anything, you get the good days when you train. But when time comes for you to get a shift, <laughs> you're going to get the little Wednesday, Tuesday. So, uh, it, a Monday was a holiday, so they say, on Saturday, let's make up for Monday. And the lady said to me, everybody got to come. I tried to explain to this lady that I'm a Sunday Adventist. Mm. She didn't want to hear it. She said, I go to church well, on Sunday. And God understand when I go to church. So if you want a job, you better show up here tomorrow. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters, but I didn't show up. I do the necessary things I didn't show. You know what? I'll never forget. I went to call a stone church to preach. As I stood on the rostrum, I never forget. In 2006, I said, brethren, they are up in the Bronx waiting for me. Well, but if they could see me now, I'm on business for the king. If the job is for me, it is for me. <laughs> but guess what happened? And you know the sermon I was preaching that day? From brokenness to blessing. While I was there preaching, another seventh day Adventist. Now remember, verse 15 said that if you worship the image, well, but if you don't worship the image, you should cast. Now the brother was thinking about maybe I'm a fool. And he's wise because if he comes to the job, well. So he went, brothers and sisters, on the Sabbath, making me look bad. But guess what happened? When time comes, we to have days off because the Lord working you know, on that the lady, somebody called me and said, Brother Baxter, well, since you didn't come on this Saturday, you better come on a Tuesday. I said, that's all right. <laughs> so guess what happened? When time to get shift, brothers and sisters, the other Adventist shift was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Baxter was Friday, Saturday. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters, you have to stay now, I don't say that to say I'm better than the brother, but I tell you, he never lost a year. They find a way to fire him. You see, some of us think if we please people, everything will be all right. That's what the king said. If you bow down, everything will be all right. Sometimes you better be cast in the fire. And when you're cast in the fire, you will come out much better. In the name of Jesus. And I say, Amen, brothers and sisters. These men did not have no time. And I'm going to just go through a few things and then I'm done. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Let me show you back to Daniel. Daniel, I got, I got to show you this and then we're going to wrap it up. Religious Liberty Day. Brothers and sisters, what it means is this. You have to stand for the right in spite of what everybody else is doing. Amen. The Bible says to him that know it to do right and do it not will be punished. So listen, let me show you something. Look at verse. I, I want to show you a verse here where the children of God stand. Verse 16, watch the Christian. He said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful. We are not no genius to answer you in uh, this little matter. Yeah. If it be so, watch this. Our God, we who we serve, is able to what? Deliver us from the burning furnace, and he will deliver us out of that. Yes. Okay. You see, oh King, brothers and sisters, you have to speak the word of God with confidence. Yeah. When you start to waver like ah, I might come, uh, I may come, uh, you might end up go. You have to stand up like the child of God. And watch verse 18. For God may not save you from the fire. Watch verse 18. And it not be known unto thee, O King, that we will not serve thy God, not worship the golden image with thou hast set up. You know what he's saying? Even if God don't want to deliver me from the fire, Stand we up. still 
not going to stand up for Jesus. Image. Oh, brothers and sisters, stand they don't have stand up. Up. So And the Bible says the king gets vexed because some people don't like when they speak. Yeah. Yeah. Full of fury, the Bible said. I'm not making up. He said, and then what he did, he said to the men, to scare the children of God, warm the fire seven times hotter. Right. They talk, the hotter the fire, then they're going to bend. Then finally when they bend, then they finally, bow. No, 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 the children of God keep standing in the midst of fire. Fire is in your life. You can't pay your bill. Everything is going bad, but you stay with the Lord. Oh, brothers and sisters, you don't a job, but you don't walk around sad because mm. you know the Lord will make a way somehow. Yes. When things get rough and things get tough, you what? Stay, stay with, with the Lord. The Lord Hallelujah. So when the fire get hotter, he may be taught they're going to say, okay, I'm coming to work. No, okay, I'm going to bow down. You know what? They keep standing. And then the fire was so hot, my brothers and sisters, that they, 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 they call some men with some biceps and triceps and they just pick up the little church men and wrap them up and tie them up and with all the muscle and throw them in the fire. And guess what? After they throw them in the fire, you know, they big and thick. The Bible says, not even the fire. You know what killed them? The flame of the fire. Oh, brothers and sisters, what they were, they were looking so strong, but the flame of the fire, what? Killed them. And the children of God who love God and serve Him when things are good or bad, they fall in the fire. Stay up with the rope of the Babylonian. But remember how a God is what you call omnipresent. Because this God, if he was a God that's on his way, mm. the, the children, not the Adventists, but the Christians in the fire would have been burned up. up. But because God is present, help. When they fall in the fire, God have everything cool in the fire. So now you get in some trouble and God already prepared a way for you to get out of the trouble. Oh, brothers and sisters, everything was cool in the fire. And the men who threw them in the fire, they died. Be careful who you pick up. And what is my trying to get When you go through trials and trouble, go to Jesus. Yeah. In the fire, Nebuchadnezzar saw somebody. Uh, and when he saw somebody in the fire, all my papers is put up now. I'm going to wrap this up. When he saw somebody uh -huh. in the fire, yeah. he said, mm -hmm. Come on, I Lester. know I chose Shira. Come on. Miss Rock, one pastor talked about a bad mm -hmm. But they, they say I chose three people in the fire. But he says something is wrong. <laughs> he called his astrologers and his magician and his, his governor. He said, didn't we cause three men in the fire? And they said, true, O king. And Nebuchadnezzar says, something is really wrong here. Because as I look up, there is a folk one in the fire. And it looked like the son of the living Lord. Oh, Brothers and sisters, God was in the fire before his children get in the fire. That's why the fire have no power. Remember, I tell you, he's omnipotent. Fire can't God stop never him. Blood can't stop him. This God is a mighty, mighty, mighty great God. If it if he don't say it's over, if he don't say it's over, it's not, not over. over. And guess what? Hallelujah. The said, All right. Servants of the Most High, come forth. You stand for your religious liberty rights. Now God gonna reward your comfort. But when they came out of the fire, you know when they go through your trouble and your trial. Some people thought you should have lost your mind, but you're still coming to church saying Hallelujah. You still come to church saying Praise the Lord. They don't understand where you get the power after you've been through so much stuff. You have been talked down and locked down and let down. Ah, oh, you have been criticized and ostracized over brothers and sisters. But when you come to church, you say, I just came to praise the Lord. They can't understand what's going on. But when God has done something for you, you have a reason to praise his name. Oh, brothers and sisters. So they can't call them out. And guess what? When you call them out, here's some of them. Let me examine them. But they want to know how you will support now you have a house. Right. They check well. the body. They say, not even the smell of smoke 
is upon the men. They look for some burn, and when they couldn't find nothing, you know who give God the praise? Mm. It was the same king, Nebuchadnezzar. He said, the God of Shedra, Meshach, is the holy, true, and living God. Then he said, any one of you who talk about these men, I will mess up your house and destroy your family. Nobody should speak against the children of God. What am I telling the church? When you go through life and it seems like you are by yourself, just call on the name of Jesus. When everything is falling apart, just call on the name of Jesus. When you can't get a job, just call on the name of Jesus. When you're feeling sad and you're feeling bad, just, just call, call on the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Delay do not mean denial. Just because God didn't deliver you mm. in the beginning don't mean you shall die. Come on. Just stay with the yes. Lord. Just stay, stay with, with the Lord. Lord. When everybody give up on you, just stay, stay with, with the Lord. Lord. Watch what God going to do for you. Hallelujah. All my brothers and sisters, and when you stay with the Lord, God will promote you. Because the king promote them after they came out of the fire. Hallelujah. You know what they were trying to do? To mm. get them to bed and burn? They want them to bend and burn, right? But God is so good, they didn't bend mm -hmm. and then they didn't burn. And then God said, well, since you was trying to get them fire, because if they die, they would be fired. They don't have a job. God then rehired them after the fire. Because guess what? After the fire, they were promoted. Hallelujah. As I close. Hallelujah. Somebody Hallelujah. here today, things is not going your way. But you know that God has been in your life. Your name may not be what you should be. Mercy. But you know that God has been good to you. Oh, brothers and sisters, you may not even be coming to church. But God protect you in the street. God give you food to eat and a little place to sleep. Mercy. You're not even a member today, but today you want to say, Lord. I know it's you that brought who me has through. brought me through. Yes. And I am living this moment because, because of you. Hallelujah. I'm not standing for Baxter. No. But I'm standing for you, Lord. Jesus. Because I just want to thank you for the blessings that you said in my life. Amen. Is there someone today who wants to say, Lord, I want to thank you for protecting me in the fire? For protecting me in the storm. Jesus. Is there someone want to say, Lord, I want to serve you like Shadrach, Meshach, sure. and Abednego. Brothers and sisters, we are in the church, but sometimes we are not doing what we should do. Oh, brothers and sisters, there's someone here today who want to say, Lord, yeah. come thy way. Jesus. Come thy way. Amen. Is there someone else who want to say, Lord, I have wandered far away from thee. I know I just over. want to come back home. Hallelujah. The part of sin to love I tried. I know I want to come back home. Oh, brothers and sisters, it's never too late to come to Jesus. Our God is a loving God. Is there someone here who knows today that God is able? And you want to say, Lord, come in my life and take over. Members, would you like to be a better Christian? Would you like to commit yourself more to God? And you want to stand to say, I want to be a better Christian. I want to stand up for the right in spite of what is going on. You want to say, Lord, I surrender all to thee. My brothers and sisters, there is nothing that our God can't do. Is there someone else who wants to say, Jesus, Jesus, I want you to be my light and my salvation. Come, come forward. God will see you. God know your problem. You see, I can't solve your problem. But Jesus has the power to solve any problem. Hallelujah. 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 What is your name? Father, we believe that you are the same God that was way back then. 
You are the same God today. I pray, Lord, that we will not leave here the same, but we will leave with a change. I pray that every man, a boy or girl that walk to the front will receive a revival in their soul. I pray that every visitor that came here today will have greater hope that life is not an endless pain with a painful end, but life can be a joyful end with eternal life. I pray that every member will come in yourself to be better and to stand up for the right in spite of what is going on. Yeah. I pray that Lighthouse will be a better church. Yes, as we every each other church better. will be a better All church. All these mercies we ask in the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the church say, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Call on Jesus. How we prove it. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Trust him more. Oh Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon our soul. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Bless this man who took his time to listen to the word. Bless this woman who took her time to listen to this word. Boy or girl, wherever they are, in whatever circumstances they may be. Oh God, we have a part in the world they may be. As the preacher said, you are everywhere. You are omnipotent. You can be in my house. Everybody has house. You can be in Pakistan. You can be in India. You can be in Bangladesh. You can be in South Africa. You can be in North Africa, North America. You can be in the Caribbean, in Europe, all over the world. Jesus, you can be in Indonesia, in Sri Lanka, all over the world at the same time. Thank you for the word. Bless every person in the world that hear the message and see the message. I pray that it will change life. And God, the message came forth that God never fail. The king said, who is that God that shall deliver you? And God, you show Nebuchadnezzar, you have the power to deliver your people. You show Nebuchadnezzar, you have the power to deliver. Lord, you show Pharaoh, you have the power to cross the Red Sea, to part the Red Sea. You have the power to part the Red Sea for the children of God and let them cry cross over. You use an unseen vacuum to dry the seabed and let the children of God walk over and dry land. And then when the enemy was coming in the sea, you let the sea go back and all the enemies drown. You never fail. God, you never fail. Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 3 said, Who is that God? In verse 15, Daniel 3 verse 15, he said, Who is that God that shall deliver you? And the preacher chose through your word that God Almighty who was, who is, who reign and lives forever. You deliver the children of God, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You got in the fire before they get in the fire. That's why the fire couldn't kill them, dear God. Because you, God, was already in the fire. Oh, God, you never fail. You never fail. I buy you. I buy at uh, Nadad and I buy you in Leviticus 10. Was having their own thing. Having their own worship in the church. And you came in the church. 
and you let fire came out from the altar and they die in the church as one and we as preachers and pastors today to be careful and servants of God don't lie on God don't fake and talk about God tell you to do something when God didn't send you stop your faking and playing because Leviticus chapter 10 is still in the Bible and the God of Leviticus chapter 10 is the still the God that is here today he never fail yes the message came true God came true for the Hebrew boys God came through for Moses and the people and let them cross over on dry land and the enemies they'll drown in the Red Sea my brothers and sisters in these troubled days we are living I evangelist F. Vaxa, encourage you put God first put God first in these troubled days put God first in these troubled days yes things is not like before in a lot of way modern technology and all that but God remained the same he never changes and I'm encouraging you my brothers and sisters if you love God serve God God is not mocked don't play with this God God is not mocked don't play with this God ladies and gentlemen don't take God for a joke he never fails he said if I go in the book of St. John's chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 Jesus said if I go I will come again he's gone because Matthew 28 said that Jesus rose from the grave uh, on the third day and he came out of the grave in St. Matthew chapter 28 and when he rose up he said all power is given unto me in heaven and then he told his disciples go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost he's gone and he's coming again he never failed Jesus he never lied he said if I go I will come again as I close off this message entitled God never fail I'm telling somebody who's going through right now that yes your situation is not looking good in your favor yes your situation seem hopeless the circumstances that you're dealing with it's like the valley of the shadow of death but God send this message in the name God send this message to you my brother God send this message to you my sister he never fail and his power he have power to prevail and he have power to give victory he have power to let hope come true he have power to let dreams come true he have power to break chains he have power to open doors trust and obey for there is no other way God never fail and if you trust him now if you trust him now I know he will make a way as the preacher said earlier, I cannot tell you exactly how oh, he's going to make a way. But I ask to know in Jesus' name that God will make a way. Somebody's not working right now, but God never fail. That's why you still have some food to eat and a place to sleep. God never fail. Somebody's sick and you can't get better. But God see what you're going through. God know what you're going through. I come to tell you, God will not give you more than you can bear. He never fails. The people of God, Israel, was in slavery for many, many, many years. They thought all hope was gone. But God sent Moses to bring them out. God sent Moses to tell Pharaoh to let his people go because God never failed. Pharaoh thought he had them forever. But when God get ready, he will give you a breakthrough. He will give you a break out and he will set you free. God never fail. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, somebody might say, well, if God is so good, how Shadrach, Meshach get into the fire. But you see, sometime God may make us go to the fire. Sometime God may make us go to the fire, flood. But God have a purpose while you are going through what you are going through. I, Evangelist Eck, encourage you, trust in God and do the right. And remember these words I share with you. God never fail. His power and glory prevails forever. So, as I close once more, the grass wither and the flowers fade. But the word of God stand forever. Whatever you are going through, I encourage you to trust in God and do the right. Remember, 
God see your tears, God know your fear, and he will not give you more than you can bear. Somebody is sick, God is able to fix your situation. Somebody is not working, God didn't forget you. Somebody have been in living by yourself for a long time, God wants you to know delay don't mean denial. Delay don't mean denial. Somebody want a promotion and a job? Trust in God and wait for God, for He's working on your case. God never fail. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of God stands forever. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, we cannot fool God. God know all what we have done. God hear what we say. God knows and can read our mind. So just trust in God and wait on God for deliverance. I close by saying these words. From the time the S-U-N was created, the sun, the S-U-N, God always have control of the S-U-N. And every morning you can count on the S-U-N to rise. And just as though you can count on the S-U-N, the sun to rise, God's son, S-O-N, God's son, the S-O-N, said, if I go, I will come again. He never lie because he keep his promises. If he could have kept the sun working from all for all these years up and years up and years and the sun never break down, he maintained what he create and what he say will be done. He say, if I go, I will come again. Revelation 22 verse 12 said, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man a garden as his work shall be. God never fail. God never fail. His words stand forever. So I encourage you in the name of Jesus. Remember, God's word stand forever. God never fail. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a minute out of your busy schedule and share this message with somebody. There is so much thing in the world. There is so much things that we share. I know the gospel is not the most popular thing in the world, but it's the greatest thing for mankind because everything else will fail, but the word of God lasts forever. I, Evangelist F. Baxter, encourage you, take a minute and share this word with somebody. There might be something in this word for somebody to bless somebody. So I encourage you to take a minute out of your busy schedule to share this word with somebody. And I also encourage you to check out the Zion's Wall broadcast. Just, just, just type it up on YouTube. Evangelist F. Baxter, please kindly share this message and subscribe, like, and share. There are millions of Christians out there. If just a little percentage just take a minute out of your busy schedule to subscribe and share, what a blessing that would be. What a blessing that would be. What a blessing that would be. We could, we could do great things by sharing the word of God. One of the things that I find out that some of us don't do too good as Christians in the churches, we don't like to support each other for growth for God. We don't like to help each other. But one thing I could say to you, my brothers and sisters, your reward don't come from man. Your re re rewards come from God. Because Revelation 22 verse 12, it said, be all. It didn't say the pastor come. It didn't say be all the pastor come quickly. It didn't say be all Baxter come quickly. Some people... Uh, when you have to do something, the first thing we ask is, what I'm going to get out of this? The Bible said in Revelation 22, verse 12, Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Now, if you are a blessing to somebody, and you have never received an award, you have never received a reward, I testify to you today that Jesus never lie. He said, if I go, I will come again. And even if people down here don't give you what you should have received, God's son, the S-O-N, will give you your reward. Because God never fail. He never lie. What he says, stand forever. And so, even if I could never give you nothing, your pastor, or your family, or your friends, Jesus promises something that money can buy. Jesus promises something that money can buy. Revelation 22 verse 17 says, Come, take the water of life freely. Salvation is not something we can buy. I thank God for his salvation was something that we could buy. Then the rich would have lived and the poor would have died. I thank God that salvation is free. So whoever come and willing to change our life, the Bible said, we will have life and have it more abundantly. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 said, 
Revelation 22 verse 14 said rather Revelation 22 verse 14 said blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life God never fail. He said, blessed are they that do his commandments. Obey the word of God. Obey the word of God. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and enter through the gates. God never fail. He promised you eternal life. Revelation 21 verse 4 said, there is coming a day when there will be no more sorrow. No more pain. No more crying. And may I say, my brothers and sisters all over the world, no more arthritis. Yeah. No more diabetes, no more heart attack, no more cancer, hmm? no more coronavirus, no more shooting in the school for there be no more debt. Jesus promised us what is best, everlasting life. Jesus never fail. He say what he say and he meant what he say and he fulfill all what he have said. And I encourage you and in this message one more time. Jesus, God's son, God never fail. And I encourage you to stand up, stand up for him. Be a witness for him in Jesus' name. Share this message with somebody in Jesus' name. Please like and subscribe this message and tell others about the Science World broadcast up on YouTube because I back cannot be at every place and there is somebody somewhere that need the message and I cannot go there and I don't know everyone so you can be a witness by sharing the word of God God will give you your reward because he never lie God never fail God bless you and keep you have a nice day or night listen to the rest of this instrumental as I close off this video in Jesus name just take a minute out of your busy schedule out of your busy time just meditate on the Lord as I close off this message just meditate on the goodness of God the greatness of God in your life in life Jesus love you so much sir ma'am boy or girl he gave his life for sinners like you and I he who had no sin die for us who have sinned he never failed he never failed he came to be the Lamb of God he came to be the ultimate Lamb of God to take away our sins Send John for first John chapter 1 verse 9 first John chapter 1 verse 9 said if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all sins he never fail he do what he say Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 said come now let us reason together though your sins be as scarlet they shall be white as snow Jesus is waiting to cleanse you but don't wait forever it's getting late and it's getting dark remember he never failed he never failed if you come to him before it's too late he will save your soul i event evangelist at baxter encourage you ladies and gentlemen all over the world please do me a big favor pray for me every day pray for me every day that god will arrest me and use me for the rest of my life in jesus name once more the message entitled god never fail God never fail he's gonna take care of your case bring it to him take it to the Lord in prayer oh take it to the Lord in prayer 
take it to the Lord in prayer. God never fail. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah.